Hello everyone, uh, my name is Prince Kumar. I am an assistant professor in department of Botany TS College, Hisua. I welcome you all for this online video class session. In today's uh, lecture, we will lear uh, learn about the history of microbiology and we will discuss about few scientists and his contribution in the field of microbiology. Uh, and as always, if you have any doubt uh, regarding the topic, feel free to contact me. Uh, so let's begin. First of all, what is microbiology? In simple terms, it is the study of microbes. Now the question is, what is microbes? A microbes or microorganism which is microscopic in size. They are so small that cannot be seen with naked eyes. So again, uh, microbiology is the study of living organism of microscopic size, which is visible only with the help of microscope. So essentially, uh, micro, microbiology as a scientific discipline begins with the development of microscope. These are different type of uh, microbes which we will discuss in detail in the following classes. These are bacteria, virus, algae, fungi and protozoa. Now, uh, now uh, we will be discussing about few scientists and their major breakthrough discoveries in the field of microbiology. Uh, before that, here is the question you have to answer in the comment box. Who coined the term microbiology? First of all, we will discuss about Anthony von Leeuwenhoek. He invented the first uh, microscope and thus uncovered the microbial world and regarded as father of microbiology. He was the first, microbi uh, uh, first microbiologist of the world. Uh, after, his in after the invention, he started to explore the microbial life and uh, called them uh, animalcules, means little animals. Uh, he observed them carefully and described them accurately. In his young days, he worked as a textile merchant and even opened his shop. Uh, to examine the cloth and fine details, he developed entrance, uh, interest in lens making and uh, made his own unique microscope. A single lensed microscope could magnify about 50 to 300 times. Uh, regarding his discoveries, uh, he sent a series of letters describing uh, uh, the details to uh, Royal Society of London from uh, 1673 till his death. Now we will discuss about spontaneous generation. Uh, it says a uh, living organism could arise from non-living matter spontaneously uh, and from earliest time people had believed in this theory because it explained such uh, occurrences such as uh, appearance of maggots on uh, decaying meats. For many centuries people believed in this theory. Francisco Redai uh, was the first person to challenge this theory and refute the idea that maggots spontaneously generate uh, on the meat. He demonstrated that maggots come from egg, uh, eggs of flies, uh, not produced spontaneously. So uh, he placed meat in three containers. One was uncovered one was tightly sealed and the third was covered with a fine gauze that would exclude the flies. He predicted that uh, preventing flies from having direct contact with the meat would prevent the appearance of maggots. Uh, further, his hypothesis was uh, supported when uh, maggots develop only in the uncovered jar but not in, uh, uh, not, uh, not in either gauze cover or tightly sealed jar. So uh, after this, he concluded that maggots could only form when flies were allowed to lay egg in the meat. And thus maggots were uh, the offspring of flies uh, and not the product of a spontaneous generation. After this experiment, it had become obvious that at least larger organism, organism could not produce by uh, non-living matter through spontaneous generations. But Leeuwenhoek's discovery of microorganism again re uh, um, renewed the controversy and scientists began to investigate about uh, their origin. Uh, during this time, many experiments were conducted to both prove and disprove the theory. Uh, some still believe that microbes uh, arise by spontaneous generation even though larger organism could not. 
जॉन नीडम वॉज वन ऑफ देम ही चैलेंज द फाइंडिंग ऑफ रेड आई बाई कंडक्टिंग एन एक्सपेरिमेंट इन विच ही बॉइल्ड मटन ब्रॉथ टू किल ऑल द प्री एग्जिस्टिंग माइक्रोब्स एंड देन सील द फ्लास्क आफ्टर फ्यू डेज ही ऑब्जर्व दैट द ब्रॉथ हैड बिकम क्लाउडी दैट कंटेन न्यूमरस माइक्रोब्स ही आर्ग्यूड दैट न्यू माइक्रोब्स मस्ट हैव अरिजन फ्रॉम ऑर्गेनिक मैटर स्पॉन्टेनियसली लजारो स्पलेंजानी डिड नॉट अग्री विथ नीडम्स फाइंडिंग आफ्टर हंड्रेड्स ऑफ केयरफुली एग्जीक्यूटेड एक्सपेरिमेंट ही इम्प्रूवड ऑन नीडम्स एक्सपेरिमेंटल डिजाइन बाई फर्स्ट सेलिंग द फ्लॉस दैट कंटेन वॉटर एंड सीड देन बॉइल्ड इट Uh, he observed that no growth took place as long as the flask remained closed uh, and then he suggested that microbes were introduced into these flask from the air in response to uh, splenzani finding needham argued that the life originated from a life force that were destroyed uh, during splenzani extended boiling after the sealing uh so this debate over spontaneous generation continued well into uh, the 19th century and finally uh, to settle the debate this uh, paris academy of science offered a prize for uh, resolution of the problem then uh, a very prominent uh, french uh, chemist louis pasteur uh who took the challenge and uh, then settled the matter once and for all with his famous swan neck experiment in 1858 pasteur designed a series of experiments to test whether a sterile nutrient broth could spontaneously generate microbial life so uh, he used a glass flask with s uh, shaped neck Uh, and called these uh, flask as swan neck uh, he partially filled the flask with nutrient broth and then boiled the broth to kill any uh, pre existing microbes after the boil uh, after the broth had been sterilized uh, after boiling uh, he broke uh, the neck of uh, some of the flask and exposed uh, exposed the nutrient broth uh, within Uh, the broken flask to air and the remaining flask uh, were left intact so uh, his design allowed uh, air inside the flask to be exchanged with uh, air from the outside but uh, prevented the introduction of any uh, airborne microbes which would uh, get trapped in the twist and bends of s shaped uh, flask the swan neck flask uh, over time he observed uh, there were no growth in swan swan neck uh, flask this he explained uh, was because germ particle or microbes in the air uh, who were attempting to enter the flask had trapped in uh, the s shaped bend uh, and therefore uh, they had not contaminated the liquid however in uh, however in the neck broken flask uh, the broth quickly become cloudy uh, and this demonstrate that certain germs particle in the air had caused the spoiling of broth for this uh, he uh, filtered uh, the air he filtered air through cotton plug and then if plugs were dropped into uh, broth that broth again become turbid and uh, show uh, microbial contamination by this simple experiment uh, he debunked the theory of spontaneous generations and uh, in a subsequent lecture in uh, 1864 he articulated a theory uh, called omnis vivum ex vivo means life only originated from life uh, beside his contribution in uh, disproving the spontaneous generation he has uh, enormous contribution in microbiology field uh, in fact he is among the three main founder of microbiology including uh, robert koch and ferdinand kohn uh, even uh, this uh, the term microbiology which i asked was coined by uh, pasteur 
uh, at the age of uh, 31 uh, pascha become uh, dean of faculty uh, of uh, uh, become dean uh, at lille university uh, there he uh, he was asked to uh, solve the problem of uh, alcohol fermentation and thus he began a series of uh, studies a series of experiments on uh, alcohol fermentation alcoholic fermentations and he, he demonstrated that specific organism yeast were responsible for uh, fermentation to produce alcohol from sugar he also demonstrated that when a different microorganism contaminate the wine uh, lactic acid was produced in that uh, wine uh, which make uh, the wine sore uh, Pasteur discovered that uh, again uh, working on fermentation he discovered that a fermentation process could be slowed down or arrested if uh, air uh, air was passed through that fermenting fluid and this process is known as pasture effect he concluded that uh, this was due to the presence of a life form that could uh, function only in absence of oxygen so uh, this led to the uh, led to introduction of uh, uh, two terms aerobic and anaerobic after spending several years observing the beneficial and harmful effect of microbes uh, in 1862 he came up with a simple procedure to prevent contamination uh, he first heated the wine to 60 to 8 uh, 60 to 100 degrees celsius and then he cooled it uh, and this process is known as pasteurization uh, this beverage contamination led Pasteur to believe that microorganism could infect animal and uh, human and this may cause disease. So he proposed that uh, if we have to stay healthy we need to prevent the entry of these microorganisms into, uh, into our body. So he suggested uh, three met methods to get rid of microbes. First sterilization by heat, uh, by radiation and then disinfection by chemical uh, for a sterilization he uh, invented stem uh, sterilizer autoclave and hot air oven which we commonly use in our laboratories uh, he also established the importance of cotton plug uh, for the uh, for protection of uh, culture media from we will discuss his contribution in vaccine development uh, in next class thank you so much